Now, even prior to the COVID-19 outbreak, 2016 U.S. Open champion Brittany Lang knew that this season would look a little different. She gave birth to her first child this past January, a daughter named Shay. Now, at least for one weekend, mother, father, and child were all on the tour together. Mark Kuntz has the story. Caddies and players have a special relationship, and for Brittany Lang, for most of her career, her brother Luke has been on her bag. But when he decided to stay at home, Lang needed to find a new caddy and turned to her husband, Kevin Spann, last week at the Drive-On Championship. And it's fun, you know, I had Luke for so long that it's such a fresh perspective. It's so cool. You know, like my husband last week was so excited to caddy. It just makes you appreciate a little bit more. I was coming anyways to help with Shay because it was her first uh, trip with the new baby. And, but you know, since they weren't allowing anybody out to the course, I was going to be stuck in the hotel room all day just wait for them to get you know home. And, and I said, look, I'm already there. I was like, just let me do it. I'll just handle it. I've always kind of wanted to do one official event just to, I just, I love, you know, I play a lot of golf. I love golf. So I love the whole trying to, you know, figure things out, the right club and read pots and all that stuff. And I just told her, I said, let me do it. I said, it's better than me sitting in the hotel room all day. And I said, then you don't have to worry about finding somebody this week and relax. And so that's what we did. He did great. You know, it was tough conditions, tough weather. And he did so good. Our reads and clubs were great. And we just had so much fun and I actually think it was better for me, you know, he made me play a little bit more aggressive, something new, something fresh. So I think it was uh, really, really uh, beneficial for me. Those, those hills, there's some big hills down at Inverness, you know, as far as walking and carrying that bag. And it doesn't help when it rains two days and everything's wet and you're, you're messing with an umbrella and trying to keep everything dry. And, and you know, Brittany's like, what a brutal week for you to, you know, finally get to do this and you're doing, you're dealing with these big hills and rain for two days. But, but you know, I enjoyed I enjoyed being with her with her first tournament back because I told her I go, this is kind of a new stage of your life, right? First time you've ever played an LPG event as an official mom, and I think she her her mindset was really really sharp, and she was nervous to see how she was going to do. But I think having me there kind of helped her just kind of relax a little bit. And it was fun getting to do it together, so I had a blast. Kevin has caddied for Brittany before, but not in a sanctioned LPGA event. Tied for sixth at Inverness, you can't argue with the results, although there was one husband and wife moment on the links. Yeah, you know, he had one mess up for those three days, which I think is pretty darn good. I missed one yard on the first day on you know, part three. I missed about 17 yards because <laughs> I used the wrong point in the uh, yardage book. And that was the only time it happened all week because I double checked everything because I was like, I felt so bad after she had such a great shot and it came up way short. She's like, that's not right. I looked at him like, are you sure? And he's like, yes, I. that's the yardage. That's right. And I'm like, man, it sure looks longer than that. And, and I was like, yes, it is. I checked the mat three times and then walking up there, we had a small little tiff and I was like, let me think about it for a second. And then I went back and said, you're right. I used the wrong spot. And I was like, you're right. I, it, I was off by 17 yards. It's my fault. Kevin had to go back to work in their native Texas this week. Fellow pro golfer Laura Diaz's son Cooper will be caddying for Brittany at Highland Meadows, but the husband and wife wouldn't mind being caddy and golfer at a future event. But yeah, I wanted to do it. Brittany was like, man, I really wish she could stay this week and do this. And, and I wanted to, I was like, that was, other than the fact that my calves don't seem to work anymore because they're so tight and stiff, but, but uh, it was just fun. Like I would love to have done it another week in a row, but uh, you know, maybe sometime in the future, if she needs me to step in now, she she knows that we can we can do it. I don't know if we could do it on a you know permanent basis. It was 15 years ago, following a second round finish as an amateur at the 2005 U.S. Open, that Lang turned pro, and her first tournament was here at the Marathon Classic. You know, Toledo and Highland Meadows are so special in my heart. Uh, Judd Silverman gave me my first start here um, when I was I think I was 19, my first ever pro event. Um, we've stayed with the same people for 15 years, awesome people. Um, we have such a great friendship with them and I've met so many people here. This, this is an extremely special place for me and uh, it's such a great golf course. I'd love to play well here. Um, it's just great to be back. You know, I know they've made some changes to the course, but I feel comfortable here. You know, it feels like home and, and we have a lot of friends and family up here. At Highland Meadows, Mark Hoots, BCSN.